What's up, YouTube? And today, we're taking a look at a self-defense knife. One of those knives you'll probably wear maybe to the gym or on a jog or to the beach. It is, I believe this is a Schrade piece of cutlery. Designed by Joshua Wagner, the illustrious. My Schrade, all right. And I think... I think this is 8CR13 MOV steel, which is decent. I mean, especially when sitting, you're never going to use this. So this is obviously a self-defense item. This sheath works great. You can stick it in a pocket. I wear it around my neck. I actually have used this as a deterrent against a drunk homeless person who very unwisely picked the scary looking person walking into the liquor store to pick on. Um, they, they immediately backed off. This is a wicked looking blade. And I even pulled it out and did like a quick, like, chuck, chuck, or I had it like this, I think. So I was like, pulled it out and I was like, chuck, chuck, or I don't know. I spun it around one time. Little did this guy know I had spent hours fucking around with it in my place. But this is the, I'm going to go over this really quick because it's not a complicated thing. Much like this other super practical not so tactical self-defense piece this is very similar so one this is a little small right so as you're holding this i mean if you hold it like this you're gonna have some blade in your hand you have to be careful of that uh if you were to snag somebody like this i feel like your fingers would drag off that edge right now on this one which is the way I carry it now. It even gives you like a big thumb ramp, basically a thumb groove. Got this bulbous end, lock it into your hand. You got this. Now where you're gonna wanna strike, say, pretend this is like Squidward or like, uh, no, no Squidward is the other guy. The starfish guy, this is the top of his head, not Squidward, Squidward has a bulbous head. This is his neck. This, so this would be his neck and his eyes are there. I, now, I know this is like taboo because people are kind of in denial in this country about how everything works. The whole George Floyd aftermath, I, I felt woke some people up, but maybe not. You're going to want to come up and catch. If this were the neck, like imagine, imagine my wrist. Okay, better. This is the head. This is the neck. You're going to come up. And you're going to think of it like you're trying to gather, uh, you know, cloth, right? So you're going to want to gather and then really pull and push at the same time. And what you're doing is gathering. This, this thing has got a big hook on it, man. If you really are trying to gather and when you pull, you're going to lacerate and sever his carotid artery which is right there and right there and the sides of your neck, right? If you slap those things, the person will pass out. They'll go down. Believe me, don't try it. Don't try it at home, but believe me. Uh, it's a very sensitive part of the body and you will shut that person off like a light. They might go for, well, they might go for like 30 more seconds, but the amount of pressure that shoots out of those uh, arteries, are just, it's, it's astronomical. Like the person's done. Um, there are other things you can do, look, you know, look up, this is a small karambit though. So the whole flipping around, you know, doing funny stuff with it. I wrapped it with paracord and used, uh, some super glue to make it super permanent. Um, feel free to steal the idea. It's, it makes it way easier cause you don't have to actually know what you're doing with paracord. Uh, but it was about $4 worth of super glue. I still carry this occasionally. Um, on a jog, it's kind of overkill, but, uh, and I'm about to wear it to the gym. Um, but I will say people, if people see this, say you have to pull it out or maybe you're at the gym and you know, people start acting funny or you're on a jog, somebody's looking at you the wrong way, pull it outside. I wear it inside my shirt because like that makes the most sense to me, but pull it outside of your clothing, right? Pull it up and out of your neck. Uh, you know, the, the, the clothing around your neck. Let it hang. Let people know, like, hey, this is this first and foremost is a deterrent. 
maybe after that it's a conversation piece, but you know, then it's all business. And the geometry of this blade is very scary if you think about it. Say somebody's coming in like this, right? They say that the, my fist is on this end and they're trying to punch me, right? They're coming in and imagine me using this to stop this forward motion or even better, I push the hand, right? So now the hand is over here, push, grab, and now I'm making severing motions. When I mean, the thing is, even if you're not, sorry if that was too discombobulated with my limited setup. I'm, I'm looking into getting more equipment. Nothing expensive though, but like uh, big, you know, big disruptions to the systems of your body tend to act like a lever shot in some cases. You might take a couple steps, but you're going down and shock, right? If you look up how a lever shot works, it's the opposite of being knocked out with a chin shot. A chin shot, your head stops working, the rest of your body's still going. Lever shot, your body stops working, your head's still going. And lever shots are like insanely painful, by the way. Um, I've never had it happen, but I've had uh, the same effect happen through different things where my liver got hit and... Uh, I literally was just done. Like I, you almost like, I just laid down. You know what I mean? <laughs> One of those things where you're like, well, I am totally fucked. This, this is the kind of thing where, it, and then you also have options, right? Like, but the balloons that this is going to leave are going to be insane. You could punch someone with this. Um, you know, you can hook and do stuff like that. I see a lot of people, the, the main thing against this is you can't, sewing stitch somebody whereas you grab somebody pretend this is a straight knife hang on i gotta review this one too this is an old piece of self-defense tech that is still so good you grab somebody sewing machine and yeah you know that's that's gonna be a good thing um in a knife fight but these really are not for knife fights these are for self-defense um, this isn't the wild west and the attack from this, because it's so such an odd thing is going to be more or less an ambush. People aren't going to be ready for it and they're going to be severely fucked up from it and they're probably going to die. So you want to use it in situations where, uh, you're not going straight to jail afterwards. You know what I mean? Um, so you're going to want to be justified. And so, I mean, before you bust this out on somebody and decide to use this like a zipper and just open them up, um, I would say things like get back, leave me alone, um, stop, try to push them back and then go for it. Uh, you're going to want to make some efforts to deter the person, but also it's going to depend on, you know, whether it's a drunk at the store, like when I had to deter someone with this or liquor store, middle of the night type thing. Or whether it's uh, somebody else, you know, maybe it's some bro that doesn't, you know, doesn't really get that you're serious about like, how much he needs to fuck off, right? Some frat boy. Maybe you give him a little bit more leeway. Um, the law is not going to be look kindly on that. But yeah, this is a great piece. Uh, the Schrade 111, SCH 111. Um, if you get a chance, pick it up if you like neck knives and stuff like that. Great for self-defense. Um, also something that you could very easily drop into a pack and have it for some kind of backup self-defense option. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. That's all she wrote for this one. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.